My name is Helle Helle and I'm from Den Denmark. Um, I'm here because I uh, published this book, this should be written in the present tense, that came out last year, translated by Martin Aiken. And it's my first book in English, my first novel in English. I've written um, six or seven novels in Danish and they are translated into many languages, but this is the first time in English. It's about a young girl, daughter, around 20. She lives in a little village. Um, she rents a house there. It's very close to the railway station, approximately 27 meters from the rail tracks. So the trains are there every now and then. And every morning she goes to Copenhagen, an hour from where she lives because she's signed up at university. So she's supposed to be studying literature, I guess, but uh, she never attends. She walks around in Copenhagen and uh, goes to cafeterias and buys secondhand stuff and never goes to university, even though her family and everybody thinks that, that, was she's, that she's doing that, she's not. It's some, something special with the English, of course, because when you are translated into English, everybody can read your books. Yeah, and that's a problem with uh, Danish, that only five million people can, can read your books. So uh, it's a special thing with English. I think it's my, my way of writing is that I'd rather say a bit too little than too much and I guess it's like that because I'm not able to say too much really it's not my uh, temper um, I grew up in the countryside in Denmark in a small island uh, not that small but in the very south of Denmark and um, it was very common there that if somebody asked you what you felt like you would all always answer with uh, what you were doing so I could ask my mum, how are you really, mum? And she would say, I'm waiting for my sister. I'm going to the dentist, like that. I don't know if that makes sense in English. But people were always talking about what they did. And that is my way of writing. I write a lot about what people do and what they say and what they eat and not so much about what they feel. And I'd rather use uh, one word that is the right word than use four words. Things doesn't always work better just because you use many words. All the time people come and ask me, what does, did I understand this book right? Um, and of course I can't uh, give any answer to that because um, that's a problem when you work with a very uh, what can you say, modest literary devices that sometimes people don't understand what you meant, but most of the time they actually do, I think. Because I want them to understand the book in one way, really. It's all about small signs. It's all about looking at the other, observing, and then seeing what's going on here without saying anything. No, I wanted to be a writer from when I was a child, really. But I mean, you want a lot of things. I wanted to be the singer in ABBA as well, so. <laughs> um, but I read a lot, yeah. And I really, I think I understood when I was a child reading, when I began reading, that reading can, at the same time, make you feel um, completely away from this world and at the same time extremely there you're so much alive when you're reading and at the same time you're not here so I remember that I thought I wanted to I wanted to create something that could make people feel that way that you were both there and not there at all that's literature it was a very interesting event and I think they get better when you have a um, foreign speaker, speaking writer because then they have to uh, try harder to explain and to answer uh, the questions and especially with um, Hale Hale's writing which is very very dense, uh, very 
sparse and there's a lot of things that happen between the lines. And with the audience asking and then somebody trying to simplify the, their answers, it's really interesting. Because I'm not, English is not my first language, everything is a translation to me in a way. Because even if I read um, British literature, it's still a foreign language to me. Um, so yeah, I think I read a lot and it makes it very interesting because it always has a completely different angle, depending on what country it is. In um, countries outside of America and, um, and, and, and the UK, we get much more, many more books translated from other languages. And in Poland, it will be around 40% of books, books published per year, whereas in here it's 3%. <laughs> and that's, that's the difference. And I think it also builds up my expectations. I actually expect to read books from other countries, not just from wherever I'm currently living. Uh, I think they've been trying very hard not to spoil what the book was about. So you could come with absolutely no knowledge of the author or what the book was about. And I think most of the events are like that. You don't really need to know. So, so I think um, it's, it's okay if you treat the book festival as, as a bit of advertising for the literature. You don't really have to know much. You may have read some books before, but there's a new book and you just find out what it is about and whether it's worth reading and usually people leave, go to the bookshop, buy the book, get it signed and, and then sit on the deck chair and read. <laughs> this event tonight actually hadn't been planned to visit at all. Um, I phoned my wife during the day and said, do you fancy going to the book festival tonight? We hadn't booked anything. Um, we had a quick look online when I got home because we just live in Edinburgh and uh, we saw this was on and we thought this would be a great thing to come to. We know nothing about it, but the Danish stuff we've seen on television is really good. Let's come along and have a look and have a listen. Uh, tonight's event was really good. I very much enjoyed it. Much better, as I've got to be honest, much better than I expected. Really engaging. Uh, was a, an author I would never have, never have encountered before and I want to read the book. Um, and a style of writing which is depth. I'm normally one for action books but this is a depth one and she's really prompted me to want to read this and get to understand it. So this this is an unusual event um, you know foreign authors being translated I think it's great that the book festival's doing that this year. Um, yeah I'm probably going to be having a look through the see what else is going on and come back again I think that'd be really good.